The whole crew is here for this week's Test Miles. Pit crew Sean, Ryan and Brad, crew chief Jen, and our driver Nick Miles. Start your engines. It's go time. For the next 60 minutes, we're going to talk cars, trucks, SUVs. In fact, anything with a throttle is your weekly automotive experience. I'm Nick Miles, and you're listening to America's Automotive Radio Show, keeping you connected to the automotive world, locally created, nationally celebrated. On this week's show, Sean and I have been taking cars out of the Test Miles garage. We'll talk to Dominic Cicero. He's in the driver's seat. You may know him from his uh, racing career, spanning lots of different types of cars. Fred Wright from The Ridge will be on the phone with us talking about the first annual women's only race. Let's talk about rims and how you can make your car personalized. Pat from Wheelcraft will be here to explain what he's done to my Mini and talk about the possibility of what he can do to your car also got a couple of other projects that we want to talk to him about. And, of course, uh, Ryan has been testing automotive products. So all that coming up in the show this morning. Sh- uh, Sean, you have been in a very dynamic, exciting, fast, speedy, sexy car. If you can only drive 97 miles. Okay. But, yes, that's how far you can drive it. I was actually driving the Kia Soul EV+. Plus. EV+, Plus is basically their top trim level for the electric Soul. Um, comes with heated, cooling leather seats and the actual quick charge port for it, which, if you want to, you could charge this vehicle in 30 minutes. Excellent. So that's actually the best part of it because that's, <laughs> that's it. That's no, all, there's a lot thing, more. This, this but I mean, that's good, actually a really cool thing because, you know, that's the one thing people do get worried about is the range envy is when you have to plug into a 110 takes what? 12, 14 hours to charge from a dead battery. Right. And we're in such a fast-paced world that no one has that kind of time. So if you could charge in 30 minutes, it would save a lot more of that range excitement. You know, they put a fast charge station um, out at the base of Mount Hood now. Really? Yeah. So uh, I was out there the other day looking at some property out there uh, for an event. And uh, John Vincent from uh, U.S. News and World Report showed me, oh, look, there's a fast charging station at the base of Mount Hood. They're... They're actually getting a lot more. Like, I was contemplating on trying to take this up to Seattle for the Seahawks game. And yeah. I was literally trying to map it out if I could make it. And there I just, are, No, they have the electric I know they do. Down. I just couldn't do it. I just, I couldn't do it. I'll take my V8 up there and waste some gas. <laughs> I just, I some wanted gas. to. I just didn't have the, I would take the V8 up there anyway. I, I just, I couldn't have the, just didn't have it into me. Um, some tech in this too, you can chart, do scheduling times with it from your cell phone, which is kind of cool if you live in states that have higher electric rates than we do. But like California, you can charge at night instead of the day. Basically, but you can set up times. You can also try to charge it and see what your charge is from your phone. Has 109 horsepower, 210 pounds feet of torque, which is. It's always the, the same with electric cars. Though. It, they're uh, they're super torque and then really low. The car is really quick. Like really, the only down I could have with driving the car is that, and it's just me. It's too quiet. Like you don't hear any road noise. It's super quiet. But there's no engine sound. I, I, if I could just take the exhaust from, like, the Mustang that they pump into the car to make it sound beefy and I could have it in this, I would love the car. Right. That's just all I want is an engine well, sound. And BMW pumped the sound of the engine into the vehicle. I get that, but that's just the only bad thing. It's just it's so weird for me to drive a car and not hear anything. Why don't you could just sit the wheel going... I actually was, okay. speaking of which, <laughs> pretending like it was. But, I mean, it's it's fun. It's quick. It's tons of room inside. I love the vehicle. It's I not, really do. Actually, I, would t- I, I think when you look at the stats, it's the slowest uh, 0 to 60 time out of all of the EVs. But it's but also one of the bigger ones, too. It is, but it's the most comfortable. It is, and styling. Like, they have this white trim that looks futuristic, and I just... I, think, of, I call that the iPod setup. I do, too, but it's like... Um, it's so much better than seeing black plastic, which almost every manufacturer does now. Right. I would buy that white plastic and not trying to say it's bad because it's plastic. It's just it looks so appealing. It does. It looks like an iPod. Mm-hmm. Um, some competitors, the Fiat 500e, Ford Focus, Golf, Nissan Leaf. All right. I just I, I really enjoy it. Are you going to spend your own money on this? No, if you'd want to buy one, that's the only big thing is the plus is $36,000. Starting, <laughs> but you can get into one starting lease if you wanted to lease one. It's 169 a month with 2,000 down. 
right. which that's what you do is you lease these vehicles because the, the technology, technology is so old yeah and just just 10 minutes mm -hmm. there's something else around the corner i have actually been driving the uh, 2017 fiat 124 spider or the fiada as we like to call it actually made by mazda and finished off by fiat as it were um, I actually like this better than the Mazda MX-5. The Miata. styling looks better. The styling looks better. The interior is nicer, and I kind of like that uh, 1.4-liter engine they have on the inside of this. Turbocharged. Uh, yeah, turbocharged too. That's <clears> a good part about it. Uh, the adaptive front headlights, uh, lots of extras. I think 70 safety and security features that they put on this car. Uh, 160 horsepower in the regular. The strange thing is when you look at the numbers for the Abarth version, 164 horse, four horsepower more, but they've decontented it, and it is a lot more fun to drive. It is so much faster. It's, it's actually incredible. And the exhaust the sound and that turbo sound. Yep, the blow off, the, the blow Mopar off. blow off. <laughs> That that that's exciting to me. Rear wheel drive, <laughs> a six speed manual, a six speed automatic, about 35 miles a gallon, the best fuel economy you can get. Yeah, for a normal person, that is, if you drive it like a, a human being. Uh, Mazda Miata, of course, is the only real competitor it has to this. Three levels. They have the uh, the Classica the and then the Lucio and the Abarth version. So I prefer the Abarth version. I think that's my that's my I think one. everybody would choose that one. I yeah, choose the Lucio. I love that saddle leather interior and the... In and the Italians beautiful. know how to do the inside of yeah. a car. They really, really do. I mean, I have not been, I have not seen the inside of a car that Italians have messed up. Are they ever going to come, are, uh, wait, do no, they I come, haven't, I haven't. Are they going to come out with a hard top like Miata does? I, I think so, but don't blow it for them. That's probably going to be their next big but surprise. No, you heard it here first. <laughs> Besides the fact that I the scooped one, them, <laughs> the 124 is a one-hand lift. You can reach behind yeah. you, and pull a convert. You can almost just throw it into place. But at a we live in the northwest. In Oregon. Okay. It rains. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you need that. Uh, the uh, what's the the Miata version called? The uh, HR. Uh, the RF. The RF. Yep. The retractable hardtop. Hard yep. No, it's I, not the RF. Mm -hmm. No, that's something it, else. It's oh, not. Yeah. It's 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 retractable something. I can't remember the the, the name. But anyway, I love hard top. Retractable yeah. hard top. Uh, Twenty six thousand up to thirty thousand. I think that's a good price. That's an awesome price. The other place uh, that Ryan and I spent the weekend was at Roadkill Nights. Wow, is all I can say. Uh, this is the first time in the United States that they have legally drag raced down a public street. Of course, they closed it to the public. I mean, we kicked getting our hands spanked for going beyond the blue barrels. Well, we where we went it to most of the public. There were still 500 street legal draggers going. Oh yeah, down. that's true. Uh, mean, that one, <laughs> so about 1.5 million people attended this event over the weekend. They did drifting in Hellcats uh, and drifting in Vipers. They had the brand new, the two, the Challenger Daytona was there, and the the it's a Charger Daytona, Charger Daytona, Daytona Challenger, Challenger TA. TA. Yeah, <laughs> getting that the wrong way around now. But uh, uh, they added the 5.7 to the 5.7 that electronic Hellcat exhaust. So now your 5.7 sounds like a 6.4, which yeah. is what everybody wanted. Yeah, in the first place, and a new scoop on the front of the TA with the shaker, um, shaker colder hold, intake. Yeah, See, it, can we put the Hellcat exhaust on my Kia Soul? <laughs> then I'd be here's happy. Here's the deal. I'm I'm <laughs> I am honestly thinking about taking the new Kia Cadenza and putting the Hellcat exhaust on it and then putting the Maserati symbol on the front and no one will know. That it car's beautiful Maserati. too. I mean, we've been talking about it. It looks Maserati. Someone just stole that idea. Someone's no, making I, it right I, now. It's too late. We said it on the air. Yeah, it's, part it's of legal. We, are, we, are, we, are, <laughs> we own the idea. All right, when we come back on Test Miles, we're going to be talking to Dominic Cicero. He's got a long list of achievements in the racing world. Plus, uh, Jen has a super secret uh, fun fact about him. That's all coming up on Test Miles next. I'm Nick Miles.